Hello everybody, it is Susie with the Frazzle Flamingo. I'm gonna point that up just a little bit more for you. All right, hopefully you can see everything pretty good. Okay, today um, what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you how to make epoxy free keychain blanks, acrylic blanks. And I'm gonna show you how to make these. This is an S hook for the ear protectors. And here's a ribbon awareness ribbon and I want to show you how we do these with epoxy free um, what we're using is we're going to be using this bright tone from crystal lac we want the clear gloss and I have mine I've put them in condiment bottles to make it easier and that way you're not contaminating your um, bigger container I'm gonna move these aside for right now <clears throat> you can you can do these acrylic blanks just like you would your your phone grip pop sockets you know you can glitter them you can use the crystal lax um, liquid metallics they have several colors this happens to be the rose and you can also use any of their uh, pigments their um, paints these are from their flipping awesome collection and I made these two phone grips and you can do these exact same things on any acrylic blank as well and to and I'm just going to show you this one here is very popular if you're going to any kind of crafts show this one's very popular it is the beach theme one and you can do that with our beach kit um, that we have on our website in our store and the kit comes with sandlot white walker blue moon and albuquerque and this is our beach kit you can go right on our store at www.frazzleflamingo.com and you can get any glitters kits um blanks we have a lot of acrylic blanks in different shapes sizes so just go on and take a look and right now we're running a summer fun 10 percent off with the code 10 summer fun all right, here we go. We're going to be using, I'm going to show today, we used the Rosebud uh, Holographic Silver Mist. It's a holographic. And we're using Leviosa. It's a holographic gold. These are in our store. These are our glitters. So I'll show you these others in a minute. We're going to get started by making our acrylic blank. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need a container. You can use these medicine cups. If you want, the great thing about using um, Crystal Lac is it is water-based. You can wash it. You can wash out any of your containers. You um, can wash out your brushes, your gloves. So you can, or if you want something that's more disposable, get your Dixie cup. Now I'm going to probably be using the Dixie cup today. You are going to want to remove one side, just one side of this backing off. So I use my precision tweezers. We have these in our store. They are very pointy and they get the job done. They're great for weeding. They're great for removing any of the backings. I normally try, I start removing the backing up in the top where your keychain hole is. Um, that way I'm not scraping up anything else. And then you get it lifted just a little and then you just start peeling it off. Just like that. I'm gonna move that to the side. Okay. And there you have it. And what I like to do first is I like to just kind of wipe it off just a little with a little bit of alcohol. That way you get any oils or anything off the surface. And so I like to wipe that off, just wipe, do a good wiping of alcohol. All right, we got that wiped off. Now, what we're, we're gonna let that dry a second. We're gonna move these out of our way because we are done with them. We, in the tools that we're gonna use is this is a double-sided uh, silicone brush tool, and I like this. And it is really, it is real great. It's like a brush, and it just it smooths the product on and around. You also can use a popsicle stick, Q-tips. 
um, not Q-tips, toothpicks, my bad. You can use them and you can use any of your mica tools. We do have these in our store as well. I really like this spatula one um, for stirring. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get our glitter. We're gonna use Leviosa. It, she is a holographic gold. We're gonna put some of that in our container. Don't need a ton, but I wanna make sure I get good coverage. So I'm putting in a little more. Okay, we got it in our container. Now we're gonna take our Bright Tone and we're gonna drizzle our Bright Tone in there on that glitter. We're gonna drizzle it in there. We don't, we don't want it like runny runny, but we don't want it really thick either. So we're gonna stir it up in there and then we'll get a good look at it after we get it all mixed up. And just when you're mixing, try not to go too fast. You'll create bubbles. Um, and we don't want a lot of bubbles. We wanna try and avoid that. I think I got the perfect mixture in there. I don't know if you can see this, but it just kind of plops slowly. It's not running off. Okay, now we're gonna wipe our tool off. Move these out of our way. Okay, so now what I do is I take this tool that I was showing you and take my acrylic blank and I'm just gonna start putting some product on there. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna dot it around on my blank. That's gonna be so pretty. The holographics are normally very sparkly and gorgeous. Okay, I think I got plenty on there. I'm gonna pick this up so I can show you. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna scooch it around to the edges. You're gonna go around, just scooch it up to the edge. It should not go over the edge. But if it does, you can wipe it right off. We're gonna get around this keychain hole. Gotta hold it down where I can see it a little better. We're gonna get that just scooched around the edge. That's our goal. And then we can fill in the centers because um, Crystal Light Lac products are self-leveling. Bright Tones is, so it will level out. We're probably going to have to put some more on there. But right this second, I'm going to try and scooch as much as I can to cover my edges first. And that's all we're going to keep doing. We're just going to keep going around, scooching this around to the edges. Okay, let me set that down because I'm going to need some more to fill in. I think I made just enough to get this filled in good. And then you're just going to move it around. Make sure you're filling it in, all your little blank spots. Make sure you're looking for any bubbles. And make sure you have all your edges. Go back around. Check your edges. All right, let me hold this up. And see, it, has, it is a little wobbly. So we're going to shake it because it will self-level. You, you can even just kind of pound your fingers and it'll pound the blank. Move it around. We're gonna get some of this moving in areas we need it to be. Blow on it, it should help to level it. We're checking for bubbles while we're at it too and making sure our edges are covered. If you do have a bubble, what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and pop it like this. And if you can't pop it, then you take and you swipe it right off. And I don't see any bubbles. I think I did pretty good. Now we're getting it pretty level. We're working on it. It's gonna self level. And we're gonna set this somewhere where it's level. We're gonna let it sit. And we're gonna let it dry overnight. Um, you wanna wipe up your edges just a little bit. You wanna go around with your finger or a glove finger, whichever, and wipe your edges up. And then we're gonna set, now we're gonna set this aside. Okay, let me get some of this off my hands. 
We're going to move this aside. We're going to clean up our tool. Cleans right up with water. Real easy. Just spray it down with water. Get something. Wipe it off. Um, get you a wipe. Whatever you need. And just wipe off your tools. Make sure your tools stay clean. All right. Now I'm going to show you when it's dried overnight. I have some other ones here. Um, when it's dried overnight and you need to put another coat on it, you will do that uh, a couple times. You just put a thin layer. But I put a couple layers on this one right here. And this one's at the point where I kind of need to do a just slight sanding. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to spritz it with a little water so I can do some wet sanding. I'm going to rub it around on there real quick. And then I'm going to take a 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly sand it to knock down some of them bumps so I can get a smoother surface. And that's all you're going to do. You're just going to lightly, you don't want to scuff the glitter. You just want to lightly scuff up some of these bumps down along your edges and get your edges smoother and that's good enough and then what you're going to do you're going to spritz it again and then we're going to wipe it off and we're just going to wipe that off just like that we're going to let that dry let that dry for a second and there's two ways you can put your bright tones on at this point you can put it on with a brush you can put it on with a brush. You can uh, pour it around, pour it on, and scooch the product around with your silicone. Or you can take a gloved finger and move your product around. And <laughs> I don't waste anything. So when my I wear my gloves, wear my gloves. I wash my gloves off, and I wear them until a finger wears out. And then when a finger wears out, I cut the other fingers off, and I use it so I can move product around and just have it on my finger. So. That's how we're going to do it today. So I have sanded. We want that to be dry. It's pretty dry. I'm going to wipe it off just a little more. I'll make sure there's no, not, no moisture under there. And then we're going to put some product, we're going to add some more product on there. So we're going to get our bright tone. And what we're going to do is we're going to just drip a couple spots. And then you're going to either take your brush, you can take your brush and paint it around on thin coats or you can take this and move it around like you did before and scooch it scooch it you can do that or like I said you can take a glove finger and just rub it in around make sure you get your edges and you can look up and make sure any bubbles you're not having any bubbles go around your edges so you lock that in and then you're going to shake it like you did the other. You're going to blow on it a little bit just to get it um, started with the self-leveling. You know, you're going to move it around. You want it to self-level. You're going to check for any bubbles that you may have. And if you have a bubble, all you need to do is just poke it, try and get rid of it, or slide it off. And I don't see any bubbles right now in this. And this now will go and sit, and I let it sit. and. You can let it sit for four or five hours and come put another coat on. And just make sure you're cleaning off all your edges. Make sure your edges are clean. And now we're going to let this sit. We're going to let this sit for four hours. I'm going to come back and check it and I'll probably put another thin coat on. And by then it should be all done. And that will have had its initial coat, uh, two other coats. I slightly sanded and then I'll have two more coats and it should be this glossy when it's done. All right, we're going to set this one aside. Okay, let me get my fingers cleaned off. All right, this is one that has been completed. It is very glossy. It's been completed. I've taken the back off and I've cleaned all my edges. Now, some people at this point, they will go along with a little bit of bright tone and they will go along these edges to seal them. You can do it that way. Matter of fact, we'll just do this one that way. Um, 
And what um, it's doing is it's, it's sealing it so this won't pop up. I have never had an issue with that. However, some people do. So um, if you want to do that, all I'm saying is put a couple drops in something, take your little glove finger, dip it, and just go around these edges real lightly. Um, oh, there it is. Um, just go around them really lightly. Just do a light coat around. Just slightly go around. You don't need a bunch. And if you do get some on that opposite side, I would do this before you remove the back. This was just a last minute thing to show you. I had a somebody mention it to me. So we're just going to go around. We're just going to seal these edges. And then after that, that dries, you can take that backing off. Um, this way your edges are done. And if you get any on the back side, you'll just use alcohol after this other sets up and dries. You will use alcohol to just clean that up. And there you have it. That's, that's how easy these are. I'm going to set that one down. Move this over. But that's how easy those are. You can... Uh, do the same technique on any of your foam grip pop sockets, um, any acrylic blank, any with these, and you can go right on our website we, in our store and we have a, a whole bunch of acrylic blanks of all kinds. Here's another finished one. This was finished with uh, Moonstruck um, and this one is a finished one. It just needs its tassels on there. but. That's all you do. That's how you do acrylic blanks. So we've done these three. Let me bring them forward. We've done these. And this is Leviosa. This is Silver Mist. And this is Rosebud. And they are also in our store. And you can also purchase the, the Beach Kit, Glitter Kit, in our store as well. Well, I hope we have inspired you to continue being your wonderfully creative self. And until next time, God bless and be safe.